و هو الله لا إله إلا هو لا الحمد في الأولى والآخرة ولا كل حكم ما إله إلا هو والصلاة والسلام ولا أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وحاتم النبيين أكرم الأبدين والآخرين سيدنا مولانا محمد وآله وصحبه قال الله تعالى عز وجل ثم أرسلنا رسلنا تطلع صدق الله العظيم يسي الله سبحانه وتعالى في سورة المؤمنون ثم أرسلنا رسلنا تطلع then we sent continuously our messengers one after another for the guidance of the mankind. From Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu salam to Hazrat Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu salam there are about 360 continuous messengers came with a message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the purpose of these people. In Surah Al-Hadid, you see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed another secret about the Prophet. لَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلْنَا بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ وَانْزِلْنَا وَانْزِلْنَا مَعَوْمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْمِزَانَ لِيَكُمَ النَّاسُ بِالْكِسْرِ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ نَاسِ Now Almighty Allah says this, no doubt, we have sent messengers with clear signs, with clear proof. And with them, we sent book and the balance of justice. So that you people on this earth, the people, they can stand firm on the path of justice. اور اللہ عزا و جل فرماتے ہیں بے شک ہم نے اپنے پیغمبر بیچے نشانیوں کے ساتھ اور ان کے ساتھ ہم نے بیچی کتاب اور عدل کا دراز تاکہ لوگ انصاف پر قائم رہیں ask yourself brothers we are the great lovers of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But what did the Prophet give you? Kitab Al-Quran and he has given you justice in Allah Yamuru Bil Adli Wal Iqsan to maintain the balance of justice and goodness for us. Now today, Muslims have only a small portion of the knowledge of the Qur'an and as far as the balance is concerned, we don't know which desert it is in because Pakistani nation is looking for the balance. Where is the justice palace? Bangladesh is looking for it. Look in Egypt now, in Libya, in Bahrain, many, whether you are in the Arab countries or you are in the Asian countries, the balance is missing. You see, concerning the book which is given to you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about the proof إِنَّا نَخْنُوا نَزَّلْنَا الزِّكْرَى وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِزُونَ No doubt, we have sent this book, this reminder to you and we are its protector or a guarantee from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that no one will be able to take the book away from you. No one will be able to alter this book for you because the guarantee protection 
is from Allah Subhanahu wa Allah tbaraka taala ki zaat mein ye jo badi daleel musalmanon ke paas hai wo ye hai ke Quran e Azim samne maidan mein maujood aur Allah ne guarantee kar di ke main iski maafsoot karta hu na kisi ke andar koi quwwat hai usko badal sakega na us jaisi koi surat paida kar sakega no this is for you young people you see concerning the book which allah subhanahu wa taala given to our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam another thing which allah mentions in kuntu fi rabi mimma nazzalna ala abdina bi suratin min misli wa shahada kum min dunillahi kun musaliki If you are in doubt, those people who doubt this is not the book of God, Allah is given a challenge that if you are in doubt concerning the book of Allah Azza wa Jal, then come and produce a surah similar to it. and bring all your helpers along if you if you are truthful so this is a guarantee which you have and a challenge from allah subhanahu wa taala for the book that the book of guidance is with us how are we going to benefit aur is kitab se fayda uthane ka tarika जो चीज दुनिया के अंदर इस वक्त जरूरत है उसको हासिल करने का तरीका क्या है यू सी वी टॉक अबाउट अवर बिलावी प्राफिट वी शो ए ग्रेट डील ऑफ लव फॉर द प्राफिट वी प्रीच अदर पीपल अवर प्राफिट इज ए यूनिवर्सल ब्लेसिंग फॉर मैन काइंड बट यू आर मिसिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट لقد كان لكم في رسول الله اسوة حسنة. That the best example amongst you is of the messenger. Where is a man amongst you, person who can say that I portray the example of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. This is what you got to look at. because in order to implement the teaching of the book <coughs> and in order to implement the balance which is missing you need the qualities characteristic qualities of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam spiritual qualities of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the chain of the tirmizi sharif narrated from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said when god created the people he made me amongst the best group of all of them then he created the tribes and he made me in the best of the tribes subhan allah then allah subhanahu wa taala selected the houses and he made me in the best of the houses of all of them and then he the prophet these are very important what he said he said in spirit and in personality and in reality i am the best of all of them no if you want to compete unless you understand the mission of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam claiming the love is a different type of thing brothers anybody can claim but standing for the principles for which our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the sahaba ikram made the sacrifices for not one year for two years 
but throughout their lifetime. That is the difficult task. <coughs> and today, we have anti-Islamic forces from all directions coming towards us. But have we ever thought of this? That personality of our beloved Prophet that concerning the knowledge, knowledge of the Prophet, Abu Zar mentions to the people, I am just coming from the Prophet and he has told us from today to the end of the day, Yom al Qiyamah, what is going to happen. And the Prophet said that no bird in the heavens moves his wings that which I do not know. Now the next step. You see the two virtues of the Messenger of Allah. Contest ability and compatibility. کہ دوسرے مذہب کے ساتھ کنٹیسٹ کرنا اور دوسرے لیڈران کے مقابلے میں کمپاٹیبل ہونا کما ارسلنا فیکم رسول منکم یدلو علیکم آیاتنا و یزکیکم و یعلمکم الکتاب والحکمہ و یعلمکم ملم تاکم تعالم صدق اللہ the virtues for which the Prophet come to teach you, to recite unto you the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to teach the knowledge of the book and hikmah and purify, and to teach the knowledge which you know not. Now if you are going to confront the people you would need technological knowledge, you need scientific knowledge, you need a proper theological knowledge and the life of the Prophet You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rabeed wa man yu jadeo fi Fillahi bagayri ilmin wa la yattabiu kulla shaitan ni mori کچھ لوگ ہیں جو کہ اللہ کے بارے میں بیس کرتے ہیں there are people who talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَمِنَ النَّاسِ amongst the people without proper knowledge and they would run after any shaitan وَيَتَا بِهُ كُلَّا شَيْتَانِ مُرِيدِ now we have to protect our generation, our youth. So this is why we need proper, solid guidance. And you cannot get any better guidance than you see the person who portrays the true example of the beloved Prophet Muhammad if you have not got compatibility with other faiths, your speech is weaker, your knowledge is weaker, your characteristic is nature, your monetary position is weaker, then how are you going to advance the Islam? Yes? No, you cannot. Because Islam teaches you to be in strength and to stand firm on your principles. And if you haven't got the principles, you will have nothing to follow. So, my brother, you, apne nojwanu ki sahi tarbiyat karo, sahi ne film sakhao. Ma have written four things for the celebration. Milat ni celebration matle char asool jee re. Fazail le ambiya ya adat e Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Akwal e Nabi, afal e Nabi. Akhwale Nabi. Either you talk about the benefits of the Prophet 
the teaching acquired nabi of all the characteristic nature and moving forward ways of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam of all the events of the life of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so if we move on to see that we want to see a future leadership amongst us muslims political or religious which is compatible and is contestable in the light of the sira of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we will not inshallah lose we will be there